What's up, gangstars? Your boy Sly here. It is Friday, 4 a.m., and you know what that means. No, no, it's not Hotline Blade. It's Zer, man. Come on. Enough with the emotes. <laughs> but seriously, guys, Zer's Day is here, and as always, I got your back and the first peek at everything you need to know about our late night creeper. So, let's go take a look. He was a little late this morning, didn't actually show up till 4.05. I guess his space shuttle was behind schedule. Anyways, all you gotta do is stick to the left. He's at the Tower North, blending in with the large door right behind him. And in case you don't know what Tower North is, that's across from the speaker. So, are you ready to see what's up this Thursday? And... Dude, again, no weapons. This crusty dude is straight up slacking. Either way, I guess the bright side is, is that there are some year two exotics in there and a great pair of U1 gauntlets. So, let's browse it up. First up, we have a year two exotic Titan helmet, the Derpa, I mean, the Tychonaut. Next up, another helmet, this time for the Hunter called the Skyburners Annex. Finally, showing the Warlock a little love, we have a great pair of year one gauntlets, the Claws of Ahamkara. As for engrams, we have a year two helmet engram and a legacy year one gauntlet engram. Curios, the first up, the two Sparrow Upgrades, the Green Emerald Coil, and the Purple Void Drive. Then the usual three packs of Heavy Synth, five pack, three of Coins, the three pack of Glass Needles, and then, yeah, just stay away from that. Okay, well let's take a closer look at the exotics this week, starting off with the Tychonaut. Its exotic perk is called Air Traffic Control. All rocket launchers gain tracking, radar remains visible while zooming heavy weapons, and heavy ammo drops more often. Middle of the road stats with mid 30s for intellect discipline and of course you can choose one of those to go up just a bit higher. Secondary perks here are ashes to assets, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills and heavy lifting. Gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on PvE enemies only. Finally, my least favorite helmet perk, invigoration. Gain bonus male energy on orb pickup. This helmet is the goofiest helmet of them all. They stay true to the 20th century space explorer style, but I hate this look. As for perks, it's a damn good helmet. Gain tracking with all launchers, and every heavy weapon gains a radar ability while aiming. Then, top it off on all of that, you get more heavy ammo regardless. There aren't a lot of rocker, rocket, rockers, rocket launchers that track in year 2, so having this as a backup is a great idea. If you're a bad sniper and have trouble hitting your light eater knight in the raid, one or two tracking rockets will easily put them down. Moving this fiesta right along, we have the Skyburners Annex. This exotic hunter helmet has versatile shooter. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs. Orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. A chance? All intellect at 66 and I would jack that up all the way if you get this. Secondary perks are the same as the last helmet. We have ashes to assets, extra super energy from grenade kills, and heavy lifting, extra super energy from heavy weapon kills in PvE. Finally, the last perk, which is decent, better already. Shields regen immediately upon orb pickup. This helmet does look cool, but in my opinion is a complete waste. There are other way more useful exotics out there that actually do something to benefit you. Unless this is a placeholder exotic for you or it's a fashion statement, this is a 100% skip for me. And moving along to our last exotic of the night, we have the Warlock's Claws of Ahamkara. Exotic perk here is called the Whispers. Gain an additional charge for all Warlock charged melees. Low 30s discipline strength and of course one can go just a bit higher. Secondary perks are Snap Discharge, Increased Melee Attack Speed, and Momentum Transfer. Bonus Melee Energy on Grenade Kills. Last but not least, Gauntlets give you faster reload ability, and these here grant you Auto Rifle Loader, Bonus Reload Speed with Auto Rifles, or Sniper Rifle Loader, Bonus Reload Speed with Snipers. You see a lot of pros use these Gauntlets. If you're in a melee battle with a person, the faster melees or the person with a shield will always win. These are great with Stormcaller or Sunsinger builds. With Stormcaller, your Thunderstrike can hit at incredible distances. With two of these bad boys, it's game over. Or, if you're a Sunsinger and you're in a losing battle, the opportunity to benefit from double shields can be the difference between winning or losing. Use melee sparingly with these gauntlets and they will treat you very, very well. The setup on these are already perfect, I wouldn't change a thing. And that brings us to the end, my friends. It is another unimpressive Zer's Day, but any day I can stock up with some more Three of Coins, I consider a good day by me. 
Hope you all enjoyed it. I can't wait to start pumping out daily videos once again once there is actually some news to support such a feat. Hope you all enjoyed the Division Open Beta, which is out now for all consoles. And keep an eye out for my Iron Banner video, which I'll be done with tomorrow sometime. As usual, thanks for watching, and we're closing in on 500 citizens. You guys are freaking awesome, and I can't wait to see where we keep going from here. Have a great weekend, y'all, and I will see you in the next one. This is your boy Sly, done, gone, and out.